In a surprising turn of events, the Federal Reserve decided to cancel the recession in a move they dubbed Operation Economic Harmony. Ooh. Here's the reason behind this decision. Picture this. The Federal Reserve discovered a long-lost ancient scroll hidden deep within the economic archives. Legend had it that this scroll contained the secret recipe for eternal economic bliss. Mm -hmm. After months of decoding and translating, the economists at the Fed uncovered the ancient economic incantation, which, when recited during a lunar eclipse while standing on one foot, had the power to banish recessions. <gasps> In a bold and unprecedented move, the Federal Reserve organized a top-secret gathering of central bankers, economists, and financial wizards at a hidden temple in the heart of Wall Street. Okay. Under the light of the full moon, they chanted the mystical economic incantation, waving wands made from recycled dollar bills. Cool. As the last echoes of the incantation reverberated through the canyons of skyscrapers, the financial markets seemed to tremble. Suddenly, a beam of golden light shot up from the New York Stock Exchange, wow. illuminating the night sky. Lo and behold, the recessionary forces were banished into the economic abyss. The Federal Reserve, now dressed in robes embroidered with interest rate symbols, announced to the world that they had successfully canceled the recession through a combination of ancient wisdom and a touch of financial magic. The global economy, free from the grips of economic downturns, entered a new era of prosperity and stability. In a press conference, the Fed chairperson, with a twinkle in their eye, explained, Sometimes you just need a dash of ancient wisdom and a sprinkle of magic to keep the economic wheels turning smoothly. Wow. We're embracing a holistic approach to monetary policy, and who knew that a centuries-old scroll could be the key to economic nirvana? Cool. And so the tale of Operation Economic Harmony became a legendary chapter in the history of central banking, leaving economists and financial analysts scratching their heads in both confusion and amusement. While the notion of canceling a recession is fantastical and not reflective of reality, yep. there are practical strategies that individuals and businesses can employ to navigate and potentially benefit from economic downturns. Here are some strategies. For individuals, invest in education and skills. Use the downturn as an opportunity to invest in education and skill development. Acquiring new skills or enhancing existing ones can make you more marketable when the job market improves. Build emergency savings. Strengthen your financial position by building or maintaining an emergency fund. Having a financial cushion can help you weather unexpected expenses or job losses during tough economic times. Real estate opportunities. Keep an eye on the real estate market. Economic downturns can lead to lower property prices, presenting opportunities for those with the financial means to invest in real estate. Invest in quality stocks. During a recession, stock prices often drop across the board. Consider investing in high-quality, undervalued stocks for the long term. Solid companies with strong fundamentals may rebound when economic conditions improve. Debt management. Focus on reducing high-interest debt. Lower interest rates may provide opportunities to refinance existing loans, saving money on interest payments. For businesses, strategic cost management. Review and optimize your business operations. Identify areas where costs can be reduced without compromising the core functions of your business. Innovation and adaptation. Innovate and adapt your products or services to meet changing customer needs. Businesses that can pivot and provide value in challenging times are more likely to thrive. Marketing and branding. Maintain or increase marketing efforts. While it may be tempting to cut marketing budgets during a recession, Staying visible in the market can help your business stand out and capture market share. Talent acquisition. Take advantage of a potentially larger pool of available talent. Skilled professionals may be seeking new opportunities during a recession, allowing your business to hire top talent that may not have been available in a stronger job market. Strategic partnerships. Explore strategic partnerships and collaborations. Working with other businesses can lead to shared resources, reduced costs, and expanded market reach. It's important to note that these strategies are general recommendations, and their effectiveness can vary based on individual circumstances and the specific nature of the recession. Additionally, ethical considerations should be paramount in decision-making to ensure the well-being of individuals and the broader community. Since you've made it this far, you have an amazing mindset. Subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss what money-making value I bring next. Even though things are uncertain during these economic times, 
let's break down detailed reasons why the cancellation of the recession through Operation Economic Harmony could be both beneficial and detrimental for the future economy. Benefits Short-term stability. The immediate benefit is the prevention of a recession, which typically involves a significant contraction in economic activity, job losses, and a decline in consumer and business confidence. By avoiding these negative consequences, Operation Economic Harmony would provide short-term stability. Confidence Boost The announcement of such a unique and successful operation could boost consumer and investor confidence. Confidence plays a crucial role in economic decision-making, and a positive sentiment might encourage spending, investment, and overall economic activity. Market Resilience Financial markets are likely to respond positively to the news, leading to increased stock prices and a more resilient financial system. This could contribute to a wealth effect, where higher asset values make people feel wealthier and more willing to spend. Avoiding feedback loops. Recessions can often create self-reinforcing feedback loops where declining consumer spending leads to job losses, which in turn leads to further reductions in spending. By interrupting this cycle, Operation Economic Harmony could prevent the economy from falling into a prolonged downturn. Drawbacks, distorted economic signals, Recessions, while painful, are a natural part of the economic cycle. They serve as a corrective mechanism, allowing inefficient businesses to fail and resources to be reallocated to more productive uses. By canceling a recession, there's a risk of preventing necessary adjustments, leading to a less efficient allocation of resources. Moral hazard. If the government and central bank intervene to cancel recessions, it creates a moral hazard. Businesses and individuals may take on excessive risks, assuming that authorities will always step in to prevent economic downturns. This behavior could lead to asset bubbles and unsustainable levels of debt. Inflationary pressures. By avoiding the contractionary phase of the economic cycle, there's a risk of building up inflationary pressures. Recessions, while painful, can help cool off an overheated economy and prevent inflation from rising to unsustainable levels. Lack of policy tools. Canceling a recession through unconventional means might exhaust traditional monetary and fiscal policy tools. If a genuine economic crisis were to emerge later, authorities may find themselves with limited options to stimulate the economy, as the effectiveness of these tools could be diminished. Global imbalances. The global economy is interconnected, and one country's decision to cancel a recession could create imbalances in international trade and finance. Other countries may not have the luxury of avoiding recessions, and this could lead to tensions in global economic relations. In summary, while canceling a recession might provide short-term relief and stability, there are long-term risks associated with distorting natural economic processes and creating moral hazard. Striking the right balance between short-term stability and long-term sustainability is a complex challenge for economic policymakers. General considerations, one, Ethical decision-making. Prioritize ethical considerations in all decisions. 2. Long-term sustainability. Balance short-term relief with long-term sustainability. 3. Market dynamics. Understand the impact of economic cycles on investments. 4. Global perspective. Recognize the interconnectedness of the global economy. Remember, these are general guidelines and individual circumstances may vary. Adapting strategies to specific situations and maintaining a flexible approach is key during times of economic uncertainty. Some citizens may distrust the Federal Reserve and other central banks for various reasons. This distrust can stem from perceived lack of transparency, unequal impacts of monetary policies, mistrust of economic elites, lack of direct accountability, the spread of conspiracy theories, historical precedents of policy failures, the impact on savers during low interest rate periods, and the politicization of central bank decisions. Building and maintaining public trust requires clear communication, transparency, and policies that are perceived as fair and beneficial to a broad cross-section of the population. Since you've made it to the end of the video, you have an impressive attention span and on your way to making some good money in your near future. All you have to do is subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can continue feeding your mind more knowledge of substance. Matter of fact, go on ahead, click and watch another one of our videos and I bet it will satisfy your curiosity for cash flow. Thank you once again and I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day.